Alrighty, let's see if we're good. Good evening, folks. Don't drop the database. Good evening, buddy. Can you hear me? It's all fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm late today. My son took a while to fall asleep. So I wasn't actually sure if I'm going to stream at all. Yeah, yeah, very good, man. Very good. Just, uh... Busy times. If I may say. Mm. Good early night, Leo. Hey there. Mm. Yeah, it's not gonna be super super long stream, but uh yeah. I just felt I wanted to. Last night I just coded a lot of stuff off stream. And that was also very nice. But yeah. How are you guys doing? How is life? You good? Just give me one second here. I want to check one thing. Because I'm no longer now multi-streaming. I'm now just streaming to Twitch. But I'm also recording now the video. So I'll be just uploading the streams to YouTube after we finish. I eat it too fast, I agree. That's when you have the kid, man. You don't have the time to do all of the stuff. You know, take the time and stuff. Uh, what program is it, Leo? Do you want to share it? What did you apply for? program buying why do you need this like what why do you need why do you need this like what well, do you really need this wait you applied to work there or to study actually let me yeah i remember that you did i just don't forget i forget i think you applied to work there or to study there i forgot Uh-huh. I see. So you want to study there. I see. Mm -hmm. But do you really need this is the question, dude. 
it seems to me that you, at least having you in my stream for a couple of months even, I mean, you, you know some stuff, right? Mm, I see. All right. And how much money is this? How much does this cost? Did you check how much how much is it the program? Yeah, well that's the thing. I this is not going to give you experience, right? So Yeah. That that that's that's the thing, right? I don't think it's just in in Ah, it's free. Hmm. Okay, I see. Yeah, I mean, this is just generic crap, right? You can learn this on Udemy in the same way. This is just standard stuff, so... Um... Okay, okay, if you think so, then go with it. Based on what I can see here... Um... This is no different than uh, than buying a Udemy course and doing it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, try it and see how it goes. But uh, who are those instructors? Do they have any experience themselves? I, I would highly advise you to, to go uh, and, and research those instructors. When I worked at Thinkful as a mentor, we had mentors who were our ex-students. So uh, there is a probability that some of those guys have actually have never worked in their life as a programmer. So I would highly advise you to, I would highly advise you to check out those people on LinkedIn and see actually have they worked somewhere, or are they going to be teaching you stuff from from book, right? Uh, so this is kind of what I would advise you to do, right? You know, just uh, just go and research them, right? Uli Koka has raided us. Good evening, buddy. <laughs> Good evening. Can you show us your best three? I don't use many Chrome extensions, honestly. I, I don't. Um, I mean, you need, obviously, Weppelizer, and this is I use mostly for work when I'm helping clients just to figure out which stacks they're using. I don't think... I, and then JSON Viewer, I believe... Some React ones. Let's see if we actually have some. Um, no, actually, I don't have many of them, right? I have one password from work, some government-related stuff. And then this is pretty much what, what it is. And good evening, everybody. But yeah, Leo, just, just make sure to research that, right? Because, I mean, anyone, anyone, anyone calls himself a mentor today, right? So just make sure that you're not, uh, you know... Um, you know, just wasting your time, right? That's the, that's the point. Should we? How do? How does this Twitch crap works? It should, there's like a shout out or something like like shout, right? Yeah, shout out. Yeah. I don't even know what that does, but let me just be generic. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Well, uh, let's start the stream today. Uh, let's start doing something. So let's actually go to our backlog, right? I actually wrote some notes last night because I didn't stream and I had to take care of my son. So let's see where we actually are. Um, so last night, actually, last night I went ahead and uh, did a lot of logging in the API, right? So basically, if we do go to decorators, right? So last night, so last night I, I, I kind of worked a bit with Grafana, right? And um, so last night I, I, I had to improve the logs a bit, right? So if we take a look at last six hours, so you can see now that in the in the serializer, right? In the serializer that I wrote, so we are serializing the errors and the re responses like this. Um, uh, I'm I'm in general building uh, I'm building a platform, right? You can go and sign up and check it out. So so in general, I'm building this platform that you can see. Uh, it's live actually, that you can see under my name. What I'm doing now, I just started the stream a few minutes ago, so I'm figuring out what I want to do. But in general. Uh, probably gonna be some uh, something related to, to logging or the API or whatever we'll see um, so I think the only thing before we actually start hacking what I'm actually going to do and we're gonna push that to production immediately 
is that last night I have set the uh, Pino uh, logger to level error, which means it skips a lot of other different types of logs. So you're gonna set that to info. We're gonna leave the serializer as it is. Uh, and then uh, let me just, uh, yeah, because in my logs in Grafana right here in Prometheus, we can see that actually, yeah, we've been getting those things that since we were, so we are uh, ignoring, you know, info any 200 or we're just basically doing 400 uh, uh, status code plus of logging, then essentially uh, we didn't get some of the logs. So let me just push that to production immediately. And then we're going to fix some bugs probably. So let's just say set the Pino error level logging to info. <clears throat> and let's push that. Good evening, Alex, man. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, Alex, how is it going? I have a question. I'm freelancing for a project that was built 80% chatbot by the owner with zero testing. Uh, let me just uh, let me just copy what you wrote so I read it easier here. So what you're saying is, hey, Alex, I was going to have a question. Freelancing for a project that was built 80% by chatbot by the owner with zero testing is going to... It's really annoying building any new features. He's also really keen on letting me refine and writing code. How do I deal with the situation? Um, well, I mean, I think I think it would be fair if I ask right a bit more. So, so, so when you say I'm freelancing, right? What do you mean, right? Like, are you working by hour? Are you? Did you give him a fixed price, uh, et cetera, et cetera? I need more details to be able to uh, give it. No, no, you don't burn it. No, that's that, yeah. I mean, I know that you're kidding, but uh, you know. That's how it is. I mean, many code bases out there are shitty, right? And they work and they're perfectly fine being in a shitty state, right? Not every code base has to have a perfect code, right? Most most websites don't, right? Working, building new features is needed. Um, uh, well, I mean, you don't care genuinely, right? I, I don't think that's your problem. Uh, you, the only thing that you have to communicate is the state in which that application is and as long as the owner is uh, on the same page understanding that it's not great and that uh, extra time is going to be needed um that's okay right i mean um i don't think that it really matters if something was built by chat gpt or not because uh, i'm sure that there are developers out there who are way worse than chat gpt as well right so so in a way, if something was built by ChatGPT, it doesn't actually imply, doesn't have to imply that it's bad, right? It can imply quite the opposite, right? Uh, it's really annoying building any new features. Also not really keen on like, he's not really keen, right? Well, I mean, uh, the, the thing is like, uh, I think this is a very specific type of project, right? So again, more information is needed. You need to tell me the budget, how much that, but that person considering that that person has actually generated 80% of the code base by the chat GPT implies that he or she doesn't have an enormous amount of money for that project, right? So in simple words, uh, you know, do the minimal you can. You're, 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 you're not paid to write the perfect code, you're paid to write features, right, that he requests. So I would focus on doing exactly that, right? I don't think that that project sounds like something where the owner intended to have uh, redundancy to the lowest level and right. Well, again, none of that really is, is, is something you should be, you should be, is your concern. Your concern is what, what the client wants. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Right. It's, it sounds, uh, it sounds, you know, you keep working by hour and you keep doing the features and that's it. Try to evaluate things and uh, what is to say, right. Um, uh, you know what I mean, right? So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> what can I say? Right. I don't think that you should be worried about, about code, uh, complexity or, or code quality that he generated you should be worried about just building things that he says in the in the way that you can based on what you're given right you cannot uh, you cannot make that code base uh, perfect because it's never intended to be so chica 25 gold right good evening oh fuck did i not change the title jesus christ man thank you very much wait 
I don't know. I didn't know today is Sunday. Let me let me copy paste the title from one of the old from from the old streams from you, uh, YouTube. Eagle Seven, good evening, buddy. How how are you? Let me just uh, rename this shitty thing. Done. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, uh, I think Leo, uh, any education, as I always say in the stream, is not a bad idea. I'm not, I'm not discouraging you to, to not study. I'm just saying, be, be very careful about those programs, right? Because you need to, uh, you need to be very careful about who you're gonna spend your time with, right? So the, the very least you can do is to do, do is the due diligence of those mentors, right? So you know, there's six of them that I saw there. Go to LinkedIn and see if they actually ever had a real job which company do they work for, check their GitHub profiles, right? Because again, when I worked at Thinkful, you know, I worked at a bootcamp for five and a half years. We literally employed some of our ex-students to be mentors, right? And they had zero experience and they were still mentors, right? So, so, um, so yes, uh, I'm very good Eagle, very good. Just a very late stream. My kid took a while to fall asleep. So I wasn't actually sure if I'm gonna stream at all, but here I am, uh, okay. Sure, fair enough. Give it a shot and then you'll see, right? Okay, let's fix some bugs. Uh, so essentially, let's just go, let's go to the backlog and let's, I, I wanna finish this, uh, I wanna finish something today at least, add a link, blah, blah, blah. So let's let's create something that uh, we're gonna do now. Uh, fix experience you. I wrote some stuff last night when I was coding off stream. So let's kinda write some code and fix that. So let me check my notes here. Uh, fix user experience, my sticky notes. So fix user experience you when on under the experience tab and when the page is refreshed, authenticated user state seems to be lost and the follow button is shown. And then this is Grafana. I'm gonna get another sticky note here. Don't render the model for creating, updating the experience. Uh, render it as a view inside the page. So it's easy to make responsive. Oh. Okay, let's do this now. That's what we're gonna focus on now. So in progress, it's me. Let's say this is relatively small priority, let's say urgent. So let's let's do this. Um, <clears throat> uh, experience, okay. So let's go to experience over here and uh, Let's see what we have. So basically, let's fix some some stuff today. <clears throat> so let's go to my profile. Let's go to experience. And here in the experience, this view was kind of messed up a bit and still is. So let's kind of fix it up. So one of you reported this in one of the latest streams, and it's been a while since we actually done this. Actually, I don't even know if this works now. Let's see, Algeria. Yeah, it actually does work ironically, but uh, whatever. Okay, so let's actually go find this experience tab okay so here we have tab experience user id user id so let's see what's actually happening here <clears throat> and where do we evaluate if it's own profile on the profile okay Profile view, let's see what's happening. Profile view. Shit, where was this experience? Where where do we render this thing? So we have experience 
yeah over here all right let's see is, is it actually here i don't think so what is this about thing All right, give me one second. Let me see if we can actually nuke this. Is this used somewhere at all? All right, so let's nuke that. This doesn't seem to be actually used anywhere anymore, at least, I guess. Let's just stop this and restart it. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Okay, let's keep on going. And then we have this crap. So we have this this thing actually here. What is this? Super strange. Uh, we have repositories, experience. We have this index here. Huh, interesting. So yeah, so that's certainly not used anywhere. So we can actually nuke that. Profile about, okay. So let's kind of move those two fellas outside of this folder that it seems that it's structured maybe in some way that we had before. So hopefully this is going to auto save or stuff. Yeah, so we're good again. So yeah, let's just fix this. We should really have everything we built so far at the very least to be stable, right? All right, so we have the experience now here. So that's it. Great. Um, And then, yeah, we have this import that seems to be wrong still. So let's fix that up. See if that's better now. It is. All right, cool. So it seems basically, let's speak this, this tiny bug first. It seems that when we get to one of those tabs and we refresh or if we would land on them directly, uh, one of the state variables kind of gets messed up. So let's, let's fix that first. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to experience here and let's see what's actually happening. So what do we do here? Get experience by user ID, okay. Mm -hmm. And then we pass some state. So let's actually see what the props are uh, when we refresh the page. That's my first suspicion is that this actually isn't correct when we get here. So let's get to the console. is own profile false so so yeah so uh, first and foremost so this is wrong so this is my profile indeed but it's failing to kind of evaluate that okay so let's see where do we actually render this experience component over here and then we have his own profile which is which we actually evaluate from our reducer so if i go to my store user uh, is own is own profile Uh, it's false by default and then okay i see and then we have this set own profile and where do we call this i suppose so okay mm -hmm. so this is why i guess right so let's see profiles set is own profile then we call it here if no place loaded cannot get user and then i guess we have the experience tab here exactly right it's right here okay so for whatever reason we're actually not setting this properly. Uh, let's see, set his own profile. So let's go back to that reducer. And let's see if it's cold. It's cold. So let's see if this, uh, this, this simple action is even cold when we refresh here. So refresh. So it is actually cold, so that's okay. Let's see, uh, so we have, we're passing the state and the action here. Or are we? No, we're actually not passing anything. Well, let's take a look at that. Cold state action payload Alexander. Okay. And then what, what do we do? We say state profile is own profile. State data that username is action dot payload, right? And action dot payload is my username. So that's actually correct. Um, state dot profile is own profile. Okay. Okay, that user that profile that is own profile that's also good bernardo thank you very much man and then let's see what's happened set his own profile mm -hmm.
So yeah, so that's super strange. So we need to fix this first. So let's, so this is kind of one of the first bugs we have to change. And ironically, actually, I think if we get here, is it the same? No. So it's actually correct in this case. Let's take a look at the uh, Redux dev tools, right? So if we go to Redux and we search for own set his own profile, right? And we take a look at the action. Let's check the diff. So this sets it to true. You can see that when we dispatch this action, the difference in the state is that his own profile goes from uh, false to true, right? Same goes for the articles whatsoever. If we get over here, it actually doesn't. There's no difference in the state, which means that uh, we didn't actually set it. So that's super awkward. So the question is why? The question is why? Let's take a look at that. Uh, so let's go back here, set, uh, set the own profile. Uh, let's go back over here. Does it, is there something here that's kind of messed up? No. His own profile and that. Yeah, that's good. So that's actually all correct. 404, good evening, my friend. How are we doing, buddy? How is life serving you? Uh, okay, so, so we're going to figure this out in a moment. I'm, I'm very sure. I have no doubts about that. It's just, it's a bit awkward. That's all. Okay, so... If profile is loading or if there's no profile or if it's loading a dedicated user. This is like, yeah, mess, really, really awkward, super awkward. And also, why do we have this here? So we have experience, so articles, thoughts, experience, yeah. Same, man, same, same. I've been with my son as well. Well, actually, I enjoy being with my son, but yeah, I feel you. I feel you pretty much. I also started streaming very late today. User. So this is correct, man. Why is it failing to set the state is beyond me, to be honest. His own profile, true. Let's try that again. User. Profile, his own profile, false, data, username Alexander. Oh shit, I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, I think I discovered it. So here we should be checking if state.data.profile.username. So, sorry should be state dot profile so this should be like state dot profile dot data dot username is this so this is why it's wrong and now I think it should be fixed yeah there we go and there we go and there we go and there we go okay beautiful so it was the state that was wrong and I kind of, I know why I think this was a regression because I no longer fetch some of this data for the logged in user. Okay, beautiful. So that's now working. Uh, okay, let's let's keep on going. So now those tabs actually show the proper state. Um, <clears throat> so let's fix this thing here. It's been, it's been a very long time since we've taken a look at this view and that's mainly because not many of you have actually, I don't think that anyone has actually filled in their experience at all. So. So let's go over here and let's see what we have. So if we go to tip tap somewhere here, tip tap, error, reference, label, update. Okay, so we have the initial state here. Role, start date, end date, location, description, set empty content, I see, okay. And let's actually see what do we, paragraph, okay. So I think it's because of this fellow over here, isn't it? 
I suppose it's because of this stringification. I wonder if we need to stringify this still or not. Feels a bit strange. Let's see. Okay, where did I where did I wrote this utility? Where am I using this? Let me see. Content set state set empty state. I see. Mm -hmm. I see, because you got an error page. Got it. Makes sense. Adrena, thank you very much for your follow. Appreciate it, man. Let's go into the schema. Let's see what's actually happening see here. So we have end date. We have some conditional schema, some if statement in here. So we have properties, company name, employee name, role, start date, end date. Description is a string. Ideal, thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Okay, um, so if I go to new article just quickly and search for the schemas here, actually, this is this library that we wrote. So if we take a look at this, hopefully, if we manage to get in there, I don't think that JSON web tokens are specific to Java. So, what are you confused about? What is the problem? I mean, if you can ask a more specific question, then maybe I can help you. New article. Okay, so what the fuck is happening? Ah, uh, yeah, actually, let me just do the tab. Required error label and update controls. Editor ref. Ah, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Experience form. state that content I wonder if that was the issue though give me one second let me just print the value of this or is this undefined So it is undefined. Okay, I see. So that's that's my bad actually. Okay. Let's get back here and let's fix that. Well, let's actually see what the value is there. Okay. So it is uh, let's actually try type off. Let's say type type off. Numinex, my friend. Good evening. How is life? So this is a stringified state, okay, that we're passing in here. And are we parsing it back? Set content, get content. So yeah, we do expect this. Yes, yeah, so that's actually accurate. That's correct. So <coughs> Interesting, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, but why are why am I calling it content here and description there? I guess this should be also description, you know? Is that the problem? So let's actually take a look at our schema over here. We actually have description, right? Okay, yeah, exactly. So description, handle submit. Okay, sure. 
and then we're stringifying that crap over here. So I guess, I suppose that's the problem, I guess, right? Why are we saying content here? We don't really force it content. This should also be description, right? I think I've actually Numinex I worked with 3JS very long ago. I think it's a very it's a pretty old library, right? I don't uh, remember much about it, but probably if I would if I would look at it now, I would probably would probably it would probably come. Yeah, so this is super fucking awkward. What are we doing wrong? So we have the description here now. So enter state change from set state description. Passing the form reference, let's take a look at that. We're getting countries here, whatever, that's okay. Then what do we have here? We have the description, the handle submit. We have the initial state, company name, point name, role, blah, 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 description. Then it's an empty state. Uh, that's so cool. Yeah, so let's actually go maybe to the feed. So, so we're doing something wrong and I can't. So let's figure it out. I'm sure that we will. I have no doubts about that. So ref set ref, let's see. Okay, ah, I see. Use hook with ref callback. Okay, so I guess, is that what we're doing there? Set ref, editor ref, ref set ref. I'm using SQL as JS, yes. For for Postgres, yeah. Use hook with ref callback. That seems fine. Why is it rendering like this though? It's super strange. Super strange. Uh, I mean, I think the fundamental question always, right, is do you understand how J for in this case, do you understand what JSON web token is? I, I assume you do. And then how it works, right? Uh, and based on that response, I'm sure that you'll be able to solve the, if you don't know how it works, you go to JVTIO and you read literally their, their own introduction. You don't need a course on this. You don't need anything. You read this and it's going to be very clear. Uh, how it works, right? So it's it's very it's a very simple concept. This is all you have to read to understand what a JSON Web Token is and how it works. So you can so you can write because JSON Web Token is just a string, right? Uh, that that has some something signed, something encoded that represents something when decoded, uh, some human readable thing, right? So so this is all you have to read. And when you read that, I'm sure that things are going to become clear. And of course, make sure, yeah, that to understand stateless and stateful uh, authentication, what is the difference, right? That is the second question you would ask in this scenario. Do I understand the difference between stateless and stateful, stateful authentication? I don't think, again, that it's Java related at all. This is very uniform across languages. There's really no difference at all. So, okay, so let's actually go back here. So handle Handle edit click, okay, set item, okay, set it, edit item, form set item, item. So let's actually see what the item is when we do that. Console log test item. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna figure it out. I'm sure you're gonna figure it out, have no doubts. Okay, so basically the problem is the description here is a string, which we then don't parse when we set this. So essentially I think the issue here, which kind of fucking sucks, right? Uh, so where do we actually pass this handle click? Uh, yeah, over here, right? So essentially I think handle edit click depends where we want to do this, right? But we can say, hey, spread the item and then description should be uh, json.parse item.description, right? 
I mean, I'm all, almost certain it's this, right? Uh, so if we try that again, that should fix it, I think. And it does, right? So yeah, they're very strange. Uh, it's kind of strange that it does it actually update it. So, oh, actually, yeah. So, so are we now rendering the description? So let's take a look. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's why it's been a while since, okay, I get it, I get it. I remember now, I remember HTML content, use tip tap to HTML, JSON description item description is this actually now the question is is this an actual json or or a string right let's take a look at that so type off is a string right so so most like let's see how did i implement this uh, before so json <laughs> Oh, what the hell did I call it JSON? This should be a string. Uh, yeah, if no JSON, so it's, it's not a JSON. It's a, it's, it's a uh, let's just say string. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. It's kind of funny. It's like JSON dot parse JSON. Okay, and then let's uh, let's find all the occurrences of this, and then just say string here. String. Drink. <clears throat> string 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 okay cool all right so going back to where we're over here right yeah um so let's fix that now so i think the next thing next tiny bug here is that we actually do render this stuff properly right now we don't so Need to make sure that this description of the job that you add is actually rendered as it was before let's see where we do that i guess we do that in the experience item over here and this html content essentially seems to be failing i guess so let's print that as always and we'll figure it out i'm sure as always we do so html content as we can see is most likely undefined yeah it is and let's see why so let's start debugging here so the string is i, I presume something so let's say string and it is okay so we just so it could be very well because we implemented this sanitization so I basically built a system around this with sanitize HTML so I only render what I'm actually allowing for sanitization right so let's see what's happening maybe nothing is happening maybe it's all good so let's print this thank you very much for the follows everybody trust gamers thank you buddy so this properly does render that's all beautiful uh we have the content we have the paragraph uh, allowed uh, tags yeah so that's all good html content well that, that really depends where you store your token right browser has no, no, you're not bothering me at all, man. It's it's, it's interesting stuff, right? But where you're gonna store, where you're gonna store your token, has uh, consequences, right? So web storage, web storage is not uh, web storage is not random, right? So you have to be very careful where you store things, right? Uh, and give me just one second. I'm gonna get back to you on that in a moment. Enable suggestions. Is actually something failing here? I just wanna see. Okay, so that fuck that. That's not the problem. Okay, let me just remove some logs so we remove this noise. Did you follow me back? I must do that right away because I did fix that last night. HTML content. Uh, yeah, let's actually just get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's just get rid of those useless things so we can focus on fixing this. Okay, uh, so editor config controls, enable suggestions, ID to label and what is this id to label what did i implement this to do i don't actually remember very genuinely what is id to laser register okay um no i mean i honestly don't i mean i think i, I think if anything i should be using chat uh, uh, that bot way more 
way more. I mean, I barely use it, honestly. And if I use it, it's mostly for generating some, for automating some tasks. Like last night, I wasn't streaming. I had to take care of my kids. So I was coding off stream and I used it to automate shit tons of error messages. And that was amazing. But uh, yeah, I think we should be using it more, if anything. Um, okay, so here, something's wrong here, right? Let's see if we're actually, if this fails with some error. There's a high probability that this error is out due to some reason, right? Actually, 24 hours, yeah, unknown node type undefined. What? Okay, interesting. So, unknown node type undefined. Super strange. Okay, let's see. Unknown node type undefined. And, okay, uh, interesting. And let's print the actual string as well. I think uh, at one point we will do that 24 hour stream. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that would be a pretty interesting experience, I tell you. Content type paragraph, content type text. All right, let me just parse this. Let me try to understand this. Thank you very much for the follow, Polly. Uh, JSON.parse. So let's see what we have here. We have the content type paragraph and then content. And then inside of the content, we have type text. So that's good, that's correct. So that's not incorrect, right? Oh shit, do we have some work that we didn't remove that we have, wait a minute. Maybe we have some old regression or stuff that we are no longer using. Let's see what we did. Cause I have a bunch of stuff here. Components, comments, hooks, use form, use query, use tip tap, mocks, store, utils. Index, tag to ID. Yeah, I mean, why not? I think at one point we will do that for sure. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so let's, let's figure this out. It's actually super strange. Super, super strange. So we're getting basically here. What we're getting again, let's try that again. Range error, unknown node type, schema node type. Nodes name. So this is actually happening in generate HTML. We do allow the paragraph. We have the get controls over here. Let me just do one thing very quickly, just for fun. Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, interesting. so it's not that. Then generate HTML is here. Just gonna try one thing here. Fun. Hmm, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's let's try. Let's give me a second. Let's try to find a few of those other places where I'm using this. I don't remember how I wrote this. So we have Jason taught that content. Yeah, exactly. So Jason is taught that content. So that seems to be the problem, right? And also, yeah, this should be called string now, right? So actually, let's make sure that we truly replace all the occurrences of this. Give me a second over here. And I'll do this manually just so we don't fuck up. Uh, blah, 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 string, correct. That's also correct. 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 Okay, that's good. Uh, let's just close a bunch of that useless stuff. 
new article article comment thought content app Okay, so here is the description. Ah, I see. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think what we actually have to pass here is the content, not the actual full object, maybe. Let's take a look at that. Um, at least if we actually take a look at a few other places where we're using this. Here we have thought.content, right? And that seems to be working. Okay, let me try that just for this example here, just so we can super, super useless, honestly, thing. Uh, Jason parse. So let's just say here, const parse, const log, parse. Just want to see what we actually parse there. Let's see, uh, range blah, blah, where is the parsed part? Ah, shit, sorry. Let's put a dog head cow here, just so we can see. Let's refresh that again. Dog head cow, okay, so we have the type dog content, right? Let's now try to say here, let's just try to say dot content. Yeah, so, so I think NSD, my friend, good evening. I think that's kind of the problem, right? I think that, that seems to be an issue at least. Um, it's just like, it's there's one thing that's super strange though. Let me just remove those logs and let's leave this one. Say, so why can't we... Give me one second. Uh, so we should be able to say content here, right? This is parse, but why do we get undefined? So that, wh what the fuck is happening, dude? Are, are you kidding me here? Are you seriously? What is this? What is this sorcery? What is happening? What is happening? Uh, so this is a string. We pass this down to this fella. Shit. Wait a minute. Shit. Okay. Maybe we're missing the controls. I think this is the reason. Let's take a look at that. Give me a second. I hope not, but...
Yeah, that's all correct. Type undefined. Uh, drop the database, man. Thank you very much for coming by, as always. I appreciate it very much. Sleep well. Sleep well, man. I hope to see you tomorrow again. Yeah, this is some pretty strange stuff. Like, super strange bug. I, I, I actually don't see the... Okay, now it's working. What the fuck are you kidding me, man? What the fuck is going on? Why would this work? This makes no sense. Like... Why would I have to... Really? But when I give it JSON here, it works, but that that's makes zero sense, man. Why would it do that? Let's figure that out. I'm actually genuinely interested. I mean, it works now, but I, I'm not going to just leave it because it works. So why the fuck do I have to parse here again? That makes no sense. And I guess if I remove this, so did we like stringify this twice or some shit like that by accident? Yeah, let's try to, to, to find that bug. That makes zero sense, man. Is this description like stringified twice? Wait a minute, let me do a test. So, const a. Let's try something like this. Is that what we did? So we need to parse it back twice? I've never actually experienced that bug for 15 years in my career. Let's try it. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh my god. Okay. So freaking strange. Let's see how that actually happened. Wow. Okay, that's the one of the strangest bugs I've seen ever. One sec. Experience. Let's go to the API. Uh, let, me, let me see what I do in the API, actually. Add user. <clears throat> D 
Dimitro, good evening, buddy. I don't do anything actually here. Let me just refresh this again. Let me try one thing. No, it's not true. So I don't. So it's not stringify twice. So it's even. Thank you very much for the follow, guys. Really appreciate it. So so it's even more strange. Like like what? So technically this should work. I mean, why would we have to so we parse it in here, right? Okay, let's let's keep just spend uh, three more minutes in this. I'm genuinely interested now. So this is probably gonna be a string, right? Type of this is gonna be a string, right? Yeah. So that is the issue, right? What the hell? That makes no sense. Okay, let's go back here. And if we go here, you know, over here, right? Yeah. So let's see here, type of description. Type of description is a string, okay, sure. What if I parse this? If I parse it twice, then it's an object. Okay, so the bug basically is, is that this, whatever it's coming from, actually it's a string that's stringified twice. So let's try to find where that it, that's coming from. Is it this latest shit that I did? Is it this? Yeah. So we just had one of the items saved wrong. So that was the issue, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Are you fucking kidding me? So strange. Okay. Whatever. It's fixed now. Um, super strange. Super strange. All right. Let's see if this still works properly and it renders crap. Currently work here. Let's say that I don't work there. Algeria, Argentina. Okay, currently work here, update should be a type of string. Okay, I see, all right. Okay, so the problem is it seems now when we load this, uh, let's see, so when I click set edit item, let's actually go here. And we'll edit click. Just give me two seconds. I want to try something. All right, well, cool. So so that's also kind of fixed, I guess, uh, with a bit of pain. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, that's great. All right, cool. That's great. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Now, another thing that I wanted to do today is I hate this model. Uh, on mobile, it's actually really impossible to change this. So what I'm actually going to do, what we're going to do now, we're going to find the shitty model where it is. And, um, well, not this one. We have another one somewhere. 
experience item set is daily model open la la let's see how that works where is experience item experience form yeah this thing is basically um wrapped in a react model right and that's pretty much what i'm gonna mute completely and i'm gonna mute that as well and i i suppose you know what's this one Or we're gonna let's just replace this with a with an empty div for now and then this fella as well let's see now what happens i guess we're gonna just see the form there exactly and we can actually have it here so that's actually pretty cool right i experience so, so it's almost something like that yeah that we're gonna have um uh yeah maybe so we're just gonna have it flipped or whatever okay so this is experience form so let's go back over here let's say experience form see where it is actually over here yeah mm -hmm. ah i see i see experience form mm -hmm. and then let's just wrap this fella we don't actually need this there so let's uh this and we're gonna just uh, yeah say hey if it's open so it's open and show that right that's actually a bit strange. What happened with this is add form open. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. And obviously, if I do this, it's gonna appear there. But that's yeah, we'll see about that in a moment. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna conditionally do this, right? So if it, form is either opened or experience is shown, right? So. Um, <clears throat> let's see what we've got here so we have the form itself we have the delete model and then we have that sort of stuff right yeah We'll need to do, implement some global model in our project because this kind of sucks. So we'll need to implement the, the, the proper one. So, okay. So we'll say, hey, if this is a that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to say if uh, is ever is opened, right? Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, and then otherwise, um, we're going to uh, break, we're going to kind of take this fella, wrap it in a fragment. And yeah, then we're going to say, well, if that's the case, do that. Otherwise, do this. And then, uh, I suppose, do this. Yeah. Or no, maybe do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is now just so, uh, yeah, when you edit, we get in here. You can edit that item. And same for creation, right? So yeah, I suppose it's going to be uh, if we refresh. So when I click this, it should go. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Is the hard work and I can post this? Yeah, it is. It is. We will change that. It was just, it was, we were just experimenting, right? We'll just dislike, uh, put some thumb, thumbs down or whatever, right? But it, but you're absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. So this is good. Uh, so let's. Uh, we need the in the in the experience form. We need some sort of cancel button, right? So let's um, let's actually get over here and let's say uh, yeah. Let's just say here, let's get rid of that. And uh, let's just say cancel. And then we can say here, let's actually make this some sort of a flex, right? So we're gonna say this flex items. Now nah, let's just say gap two, whatever. And then let's say uh, cancel. And then here, let's just say, hey, on click, we're gonna say handle, handle, handle cancel. And um, and we, we have to make sure that this is of a type button. So, uh, so type button. So it doesn't submit the form when we click this. And then let's let's get over here somewhere and let's say handle cancel. And then. Actually, give me one second, uh, one second.
All right, never mind. There is, there, there's one on Discord, basically. So if you go to Discord here, you have feature suggestions, basically. So absolutely, you could do, you could do it here. If you go to our Discord, uh, if you're not there already, you can just get the, get the thing here, and then do it there. And I would appreciate it very much. Thanks a lot. And then, okay, great. So let's get back here and right below handle submit, I guess we can just say const handle console. And that's going to basically just, uh, yeah, set is, yeah, exactly. And then somewhere we have to pass this file. So where is this? Uh, it's removing blah, 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 handle and the head and delete experience item. Where's the form? Yeah. Something like that, right? So if we go here now and we go back here, we should be able to fiddle between those two. Beautiful. Uh, so this is add experience and then we'll need to obviously, uh, update this title up there and whatever we actually, I don't think we actually, yeah, we'll see. Let's, let's finalize this. But, uh, so if we go back to experience form again, let's make it, make, make sure that this is like, uh, we, uh how did I implement this button component? What did I do? I have children type, which types do I have? Yeah, it's not, that's not it. I have a outline, but yeah, let's just make it outlined and let's make it uh, color name, uh, no, gray. Yeah, there we go. Okay, beautiful. Cool. I think what would be useful when you're editing something that, yeah, no, actually you have all of it. Yeah. So the question is. Yeah, we, we can probably minimize this and, and, and remove some of this redundant crap, right? So I think we can just get rid of pretty much all of this. I don't think we need it. So if I edit now, you get company name, blah, blah, blah. If I try to add, wait a minute. Okay, that's that's a bit awkward. So give me a second. Uh, okay, so it seems that we don't really clear. Give me a second. So I edit, I cancel, I add. Okay, so we're actually not clearing the state properly when I cancel. Give me a second. Uh, give me a moment here, blah, 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 blah. So if we go to handle cancel, set edited item to item. Okay. Uh, I suppose we also have to do this, right? So this is what we forgot. So we have to do this and we have to say, hey, set this to initial state, right? Matus, my friend, thank you very much for coming, man. Yeah, I started a bit late tonight. Uh, my son took a while to fall asleep, so he finally did around 10 p.m. And then I just decided, hey, let me, you know, just meet with the guys a bit on stream and have some fun. I hope you're fine as well, man. Thank you for coming by and thank you for saying hi. I wasn't sure if I'm going to show up today, just like yesterday. My son was sick for two, three days. Uh, he had this vaccine that kids get when they're four. Now, luckily, he's a lot better and stuff. So I don't have to check upon, uh, upon him, right? Yeah, that's that's when you learn the most. So just keep on going. That's that's the, you know, you know how the saying say, uh, the smooth seas do not make a sailor, right? So if you, if you were sailing your boat, standing still in, in the middle of the sea, you would not learn anything, right? That's going to be infinite. That's going to be your job pretty much for the rest of your life. Get used to it, my friend. Get used to it. Okay, beautiful, actually. So we pretty much, I think we did. Let's see. So this is what we wanted to, today. Sako, my friend, howdy, partner. Hopefully we can have a coffee, Sako, one day, man. I know that we live five minutes away from each other, but, you know, I know it's hard. And none of us have the spine, but, you know, that's what it is. So nice when I see seven months, man. Time flies like freaking crazy, man. Crazy stuff. Seven months. What the hell? 
Okay, and last thing for now with this feature. So this is actually feels good fixing this. Dude, like I suggest if, I mean, I think we're equally lazy in some sense, but you're welcome to my place, man. Any working day after work. And I know that's tough, but I, I, I don't want to invite you, man. Any day after work, you're welcome to my place. So you don't even have to call me. Just send me SMS, dude, I'm coming today. So I don't think we even have to organize it. Literally, I swear to God. Ofu, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much, everybody, for your follows. Okay, let's move this shitty icon. This looks pretty horrible. Let's move this somewhere else. Um, actually, I, I might have an idea. So let's move this somewhere else. Where is this icon? Uh, we have this icon somewhere, I suppose. Let me just see if this model is still showing up. It is, okay. So let's go call the button. Blah. His own profile hasn't added any experience yet. Infinite, thank you very much, bro. Two months, nice. Nice, man. Thank you very much, buddy. Happy to find uh, that you found the stream. Sounds good, Sako, man. And don't, don't you dare to leave the stream now, man. Let's hang out a bit and then I'm gonna finish probably in like half an hour anyway. So do, don't you dare to leave my stream now, Sako, okay? Mate, Bokita, thank you very much, buddy. Okay, and uh, lastly, let's do this. So if it's own profile, blah, blah, blah. So so let's let's do this lastly. So where is this thing? Delete modal. Where is this thing? Like, where the hell did I put this thing? It's been a while. I don't remember. What is this crap? Okay, so let's find it like this. Hidden. What? Oh, okay. That's why. Funny. Okay, so it's here. Uh -huh. If experience is greater than zero... Uh -huh. Here is the button. Here is the button. Okay, I see. I see. All right, cool. So what we're gonna do? We can just put it, I guess, below the last. My holidays are um, in August. I'm taking seventh to twenty eighth of August is when I'm taking my holiday. Okay, let's just try putting it there, and then you can kind of add more if you scroll down. Are you kidding me, bro? Crazy, sh crazy shit, man. It's like we made a deal or something. <laughs> crazy stuff. Kiebs, thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate you following and stuff like that. Thank you very much. Uh... Okay, so this is actually something I, I think it's going to be fine doing. So let's do this. Yeah, I think I kind of like this. So let's just wrap this fella in another div here. Just a quick, easy stuff. Let's make this a flex of gap two. And let's also say items uh, center, as always. Portugal is called. I'm going to the Balkans, man, to see my family. I want my kid to see his grandparents. And then we don't know. We'll probably go somewhere, but we don't know actually yet where. Uh, we don't know. We we don't know yet where. To be very frank with you, uh, at experience. Um, yeah, and then let's say something like M uh, P T P T. I don't know eight or something like that. Ah shit! Definitely not what I wanted. This was supposed to be here. And now let's see how this looks in mobile now, because mobile also needs to look nice. Yeah, so, so that's not completely disgusting, right? So so for sure it's not. Uh, so if we do this, it looks like that, and you click it. So, so yeah, it makes sense, because if we add another one... Uh, why are you not using TypeScript? I would like to answer that question, but I get, get it every day for past four months. So let's just say that I'm not, for no reason. Otherwise, we're going to end up talking about it 20 minutes. Okay. So you can see as you keep kind of adding stuff, they do appear on the top though. And I guess that's what you would want. Now it's kind of disconnected from the button itself. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know. Maybe it should be on the top though. Let's try to put it back, right? So let's, let's kind of take this fella over here and let's just do this. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. I grew up there, right, as a kid, so. 
so I know, I know, I mean, definitely, man, definitely. Yeah, this is actually not that bad when I think about it. Let's just leave it there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, do I like it a lot? No. But do I dislike it? I don't, honestly. I mean, this is only visible for the author. I mean, okay, let's just try one thing. Uh, yeah, and then if we kind of do like MB8 or something, maybe, maybe, right? Thank you very much for the compliment, uh, Vilarka. Uh, I think I think it's a matter of, I think it's a matter of experience, but also uh, also understanding of. I don't know. There are multiple segments of that, but I feel you. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I've I've seen that many times as well. I've seen that many times as well myself. So I I, I feel you, man. Vanix, my friend, good evening. The thing is, I think one thing with experience is is that... Um, and on what, when I say one thing about experience, I don't mean one thing about experience writing React, right? It, it's, not, it's not about that. It's more about experience helps you to not be lazy to do things right because when you fail enough of... To, times you kind of don't want to go there you know it's like it's like eating uh eating the you know if you would have a po uh, stomach poisoning at the same place once somewhere you would probably not want to eat there again so that's that's kind of uh so that's that's right uh, no uh, i do not use any any library all of this is built by me and i just use tailwind as a i use tailwind as a utility library but all of the components are mine i didn't uh, all of everything is Everything is built by me, pretty much. All of it. My pleasure. Well, well, uh, uh, Vilarka, right? Uh, the easiest thing in life is to quit. I think. I think fundamentally, in in my in my experience, right? Uh, so, so, so I mean, I don't know how I don't know you. I don't know how much experience you have, but let me tell you one thing. I think. A lot of people quit at times when they could learn the most, right? I think the thing is, uh, and that's actually, the, I think there's almost a paradox in a way, because a lot of people quit their jobs at times when it's hard, but and, and at times when it's annoying, right? And ironically, those are the times when you can learn the most. And when I say you can learn the most, I don't necessarily mean just programming, I mean those are the times when you can learn how to deal with tough situations. Because if you decide to quit your job every time you don't like something, then you're going to be quitting your job every year or every six months, right? So, so in simple words, um, eight years in front, got it. Well, then you have enough of experience. Then you have enough of experience to, to not quit, right? Like try to solve it in some way. I mean, you know, I'm a tech lead at, at my work. I'm very fortunate now that I have actually very smart engineers, very good ones, so I don't have problem. They're doing an amazing work, and honestly, I'm very impressed. But you have to propose some solutions, right? You have to, and, and then quit, right? So, for example, it would be a shame that you quit without trying to do something concrete about it. So, if I'm you, you know, I would try something actionable. I would, you know, see why things that happen, happen, and I would see if I can influence them indirectly even right um but anyway quitting is quitting is easiest always right people quit all sorts of things and that doesn't solve anything you're gonna go to another place and then something there is gonna suck and then you will want to quit again right so i i know that you most likely know this already i, I don't want to be a smart ass and i'm sorry if i appear like that uh that's not my intention but uh quitting is is rarely 
quitting is rarely a solution, right? In anything in life, that's at least how I function. I quitting for me, no matter what's in question, is always the last resort. If I've tried everything, and then nothing worked, then I'm gonna quit, right? Um, and it took a while to learn that. It took a while to learn that in my career, actually. Okay, beautiful. Actually, so 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 this is super simple, super simple stuff. Super nice, nothing complex here. And I think, yeah, I might off stream just do some tech depth cleanup, whatever. But generally, let's let's just make sure we don't leave those console logs around. I think we shouldn't have any. Let's get rid of that. And then this is just what is this Vita use form? Yeah, this this is kind of useless actually. Why do I have this? Yeah, not very useful. But let's leave it there for now. Um great that's actually great so let's see if there's something we have to push from the api first i think we do so i'm going to push the api first i've changed some stuff real in relation to experience in the api and then we're gonna so let's push this work so we we don't want to accumulate too much work too much amazing code in our computers so let's say update schema for user experience and then um <clears throat> push that to production our, our our ci is gonna kick in and stuff and then let's get back to this thing du, 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 du. oh shit 43 changes okay oh fuck yeah actually yeah we'll, we'll need to be careful now about this though uh so let's see experience form experience form so yeah so so we'll need to revert some stuff so let's uh Actually, we will not. No, no, all good, all good. My mistake, all perfect. No, no, what we did was actually pretty good. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's push some of this stuff. Well, all of this stuff, in fact. Repository is okay. Let's just quickly skim through. What did we do here? Import repos Okay, just some imports were updated. The repository. So we didn't really do anything with repositories, but that's okay. This is just moving files around, so we don't really need to review that. We haven't changed any code there imports yeah change the change the the path where the file is experience item yeah not very useful okay jesus christ all right you know what uh and then actually i'm genuinely only interested about this because those are quite serious ones Use query test, tip tap. This we can't mess up, JSON, string, all right? Because this whole project depends on it. Actually, okay. And then last last stream, we added some tests and stuff. So let's just commit that as well. Who cares? That doesn't really influence anything. So let's do this. What do we have in the public, this mock service thing? That I will not actually commit. This I will commit. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just say fix the experience regressions. Edit the test. Hmm. Let's try pushing this. Let's actually go to our GitHub now. Uh, our API and our front end. Beautiful. So let's see, is our sir, uh, is our continuous integration running? It is, beautiful. And let's go to Cloudflare Pages. Okay, so this is also building. Easy game, easy life. Shortcut to open new tabs, is that what you mean? Alright, so this is deployed. Let's make sure we didn't fuck up production. Okay, great. Follow back. And then let's wait. 
uh, you just hold uh, control. You just hold control and then you click on it. <clears throat> Let's wait for this to deploy. Okay, so we have a few more people sign up the stream. Amazing. I like that a lot. Thank you very much, fellas. Or command on Mac. Sorry, yeah, I'm on Windows now, but generally I work on Mac. This is my uh, this is my work laptop. Uh, this is my M1. I'm right. I'm streaming from Windows because yeah, it requires and my pleasure, man. Okay, great. So that's that's amazing. I'm actually happy with the output of that. Uh, let's uh, at least what we plan to do now. Let's move that to done, and then we'll figure out if there's more stuff on that to fix. But that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's um, I keep hearing about TypeScript. At what at what point in my JavaScript journey should I get into it? Um, you should get into it at the point where your overall skills in development are at the level where you could use some extra tooling to help you write uh, easier to reason about code. In simple words, once you are able to actually build things, TS is a good addition to it. All right. All right. Okay, so great. Is this deployed? Come on, you can do it. Cloud. Ah, it did. Okay. So let's go to production. And let's go to my own profile experience. Let's test this. Beautiful. Okay. Let's just test if it actually works. Just random shit. Hey, stream. Howdy. All right. So we're good. Try to edit. I hope you are doing well. Update. Yep. Do you know, I expect my technical lead to do tr tricks things. Not bad. No, 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 it's, it's, uh, but let me actually get back to you, Sako, on that. Let me just answer Vilarka. I think Vilarka fundamentally, maybe, so, so it seems there are several aspects to your question that we can discuss. Number one, maybe your team is generally very incompetent, right? Incompetent, right? So there's very little things you can do there. Maybe your team is generally incompetent, right? Number one. Now, number two, there are actually a few aspects that I can share on top of my mind. So your your team can be incompetent completely, which is less likely in my experience that the whole team is completely incompetent because that's not very rare, but it's possible. Then, then maybe the processes in your company and, and how your CTO laid out the foundation of engineering in your company maybe is just po very poor, which means that your engineering practices and how you have set up your team and how the new team members were onboarded was just lazy and wrong, which led to bad practices and then also led to bad processes on how your engineers are writing code. And then, of course, it can be a combination of both. Maybe your, your developers suck and then the process is also bad. Um, now, now, lastly, right, of course, um, um, maybe people don't care, right? I mean, uh, you know, when you join a company, different people have different levels of excitement about their job. Some people just go to work to make get, get a salary. Some people go to work because of that, plus they like it and they're excited, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Um, so in simple words, I mean, if your tech lead is not helping this, if, if your CTO is... is um, I mean, it's very hard, right? It's very hard to, uh, 
Infinite, thank you very much as well, man. Thank you for the subs and all of that stuff. I hope to see you tomorrow, man. I'm streaming almost every evening, so just come around. So in simple words, Vilarka, right? Um, you have bad processes for sure, right? I mean, when you tell me that you've pushed 4,000 lines of code, that somebody pushes 4,000 lines of code, that person would instantly have a meeting with me in two seconds, right? So, so it, it's clear to me that you don't have a CI and CD continuous in integration and deployment set up as a process in your company properly because no sane tech lead, team lead, CTO would allow such thing because nobody reviews 4,000 lines of code, right? That's impossible. So you don't, you don't push a PR of 4,000 lines of code and it's like, hey, can you review this? You can barely review 50 to 100 lines of code, right? So, so it seems, number one, that the processes in your company are poor, and it also seems that your team is not eager to fix them because they're not bothered by the processes themselves. Because if you're the only one bothered by it, that means that nobody else finds those processes uh, to be bad. Now, there can be different reasons why they don't find it. Maybe they never had a good process before. Maybe they're inexperienced. Maybe your team members are inexperienced. They don't even know for better, right? Because in that case, you can't blame them because somebody has to teach them better. But then if your tech lead and your CTO are not really involved into fixing those things, then maybe they also suck because they don't know for better, right? So in simple words, I mean, if you're unhappy with the overall, with too many of those things, uh, and if you have tried to fix something, then it's probably just best to find a different place, right? Yeah, then just find, uh, I mean, don't be angry, right? I think, I think fundamentally don't don't let the job ever affect you in that in that sense because i know that some of you might disagree with this but job is just a job man i mean uh you're gonna you're gonna change shit tons of jobs in your career and i mean you shouldn't let let affect you that much right at the end of the day you know the way that i think about work and i'm very i would i would, I would like to think i would say i'm probably very successful at work but this is how i think about life right it's very simple this is you this here is you it, this here is a circle of your close people this is you this is your family this is your friends and those are companies right those are th different companies you're going to be joining in your career all of them right at the end of the day of your at the end of the day the only place that you're going to always be coming back to is going to be this circle here your family your friends and yourself right so those circles here in in between you your life and the end of life is something you in most cases i'm not saying that they're not important of course they're important but i'm saying at the end of the day it's going to be one company two three four ten right but at the end of the day, you always end up here. So you should not let, a f I mean, if you're a professional, right? My pleasure, man. Try to be a professional. When people say that person is a professional, it doesn't always mean that person can write code or be a great lawyer. You have to teach yourself to not get affected by those dots in here, right? You know, you have to, you have to teach yourself, you have to practice to, to not allow yourself to be affected by those things. Because some of those balls... <laughs> Some of those circles are going to be red. They're going to suck, right? You know, in this sea of companies, in my experience is that their companies are generally good, right? So it's good experiences, green, green experiences. But some of those experiences, they're going to be red. They're going to kind of be like, yeah, you know, like, eh, you know, I don't like it, right? And that, then it's, that's, that's fine, man, right? Sometimes you're going to join a company or you're going to join a company that's great and then it's no longer going to be fine. The company is going to grow. They're going to scale. You're no longer going to feel like being there. And that's all fine, right? Um, it's, just, it's just company, right? It's just work. And, you know, sometimes we have to move on. Sometimes we, we don't. Sometimes we just need to chill out, take a few days off and recalibrate, right? But in simple words, uh, no matter what it is, you can't... You can't let yourself to become red. Those experiences might become red, but don't let yourself be red. Because if you become red, then you're going to affect your family and your friends. They're going to become red. Then your whole circle of life becomes red. If you bring your negativity to home, to your friends, to your family, right? 
you, you don't want that, right? So this, this redness, you want to keep that outside of your home. You want to be green. You want to be the green guy. You want this circle to be green. Friends, family, yourself, right? Um, you get what I mean. So paint is amazing. When you open up paint and you draw life, it's so easy to understand life. It's crazy. And thank you everybody for your follows. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's how I think about it. So fuck it, man. It's just, uh, it's just, uh, just, just how it is. There's always going to be, no matter which company you join in your career ever, it's always going to be something that sucks. And it's always going to be someone that annoys you. And that's how it is. Okay, uh, that's uh, philosophy, 101 philosophy with Alex. What happens if job is green but closed circle circle is red? I mean, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whatever. So don't take my my words for granted, right? I do I do love this sort of stuff, and I and I deeply I I deeply think about it. I deeply think about those things, right? Uh, life for me is, is 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 a is a mystery, right? And and but for me, family truly is the essence of life. I mean, my I think I think. It's just fundamentally life, right? Family for me is everything. And I think I would never allow things to, to interfere with my family. I would instantly cut on those things. So if I would ever see that something's interfering with my life so much that it's affecting me and my family, I would just instantly resolve it, right? So, because that's a lot, that's why a lot of people, right? When you go to LinkedIn and when you go to different places, they're like completely mind blown. It's like, oh, I just got fired or, or I lost my job. How is that possible? You know, I worked so hard. I gave, uh, gave up, uh, uh, I, I gave up, you know, I gave up everything and they fired me or I, when I quit, nobody cared. And this is fundamentally what people don't understand is that your job is not your family, right? Your job is your job and you're going to meet great friends. You're going to make great friendships along the way. Some of them are going to stay forever. Some of them are going to be temporary. But you only truly have one family, and that's your parents, your wife, your husband, your whoever, right? And this is this is not some fucking ancient, uh, some bullshit uh, psychology, said philosophy. This is common sense, right? Uh, I don't think that that it's it's kind of in a way almost silly that we have brought ourselves as a society that we even need to talk about those things. But just remember. Your job is not your family. Your job is your job. And your family is at home or somewhere else, right? And 100% not. I mean, again, that, that's what it means to be professional, right? And that's why it's also important to not quit your job when things are hard. Because when things are hard, that's when you can really learn a lot, right? Uh... So, so, so true, you know, that's why quitting sometimes is a very tricky thing. Like, should I quit? Well, d depending what you're trying to get out of it, right? I think in those circumstances, one can really learn a lot, right? If you're in, if you're in, in a negative situation, in a tense situation, a tricky situation, obviously quitting, quitting is, quitting is, you know, like, like the easiest thing. I'm just going to quit and the problem is solved. But you don't solve problems by quitting. You remove problems by quitting but you don't solve them and then you don't carry anything with you from that moment right you know you know what i mean it's like solving the problem and removing a problem are two different things when you quit something yeah that problem is gone by you running away from it but then you don't carry that experience further on to another job because you know most of those things that you experience today they're gonna experience you're gonna experience them again in the future it's 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 almost unavoidable right so are you gonna quit every single time is the question so are you gonna quit every single time when you have such a problem well that probably is not good for you because changing jobs is hard man and when i say that it's hard i don't mean finding another job i mean getting to know other people again getting to know the product and all of that stuff is just a very exhausting process right so, so uh, in simple words, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just a lot to, th to think about, but I would always say, think about it, right? I would just say, before you decide to quit anything, um, try to think it through, right? Because quitting should always come last, right? That's, that's how I think again. Sometimes just thinking things through and chilling out for a couple of days is sufficient to kind of, yeah.
Yeah, give me just two seconds. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's see, what is the time? It's, it's fuck, it's midnight. I think we should maybe round up. Maybe, I, I don't actually know. I think we should. Uh... But yeah, let, let's maybe actually do that. I mean, I started streaming like 10.30 today. Tomorrow I'm going to hopefully start at the normal time. So we did fix this, and that's amazing. Uh, we did fix a few of those things. So let's maybe just, yeah, let's call it because, I mean, it's it's almost half past midnight here. And my wife just came back from work. I want to kiss her and, and say hi. So, um, yeah, let's let's just let's just round up here, fellas. Um, and uh, yeah, let's 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 just see each other tomorrow. I mean, what is to say? Very nice discussions. Few of them. Thank you. Thank you very much for everybody, especially the new ones who are here. Um, yeah, join our Discord if you want. Sign up on the website, and we have super nice discussions every evening here. We we spend most of the time, of course, coding, so we're not just sitting and uh, talking garbage here. But uh, come around if you want to talk about technology, talk about life. We're here every evening, so if you're new to new to this stream, yeah, it's good to have you here. And uh, yeah, NSD, Li Liso, Sako, all of you guys. See you on Thursday, Sako. Have a great one, guys, and I'll catch you guys up. Uh, Exactly, no minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Everyone codes Rust. Awesome. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night and day, wherever you are. Peace out. Have a great one. Cheers. Bye-bye.